Hello, uh, this is our first Zoom meeting and it counts for the mandatory online orientation just in case that you did not get to attend um, the orientation in person on Wednesday, this past Wednesday. So there are a couple of options on Zoom. You can um, speak and let us hear your voice. You can let us see uh, your face, uh, or you can just use the chat function uh, to type in your questions, okay? So I'm sharing my screen and um, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and mute people so if you are um, interested in speaking just unmute yourself so that uh, we all can hear you because I, I need uh, the the quietness to to speak to you um, at least at the very beginning of um, the meeting I like to keep the meeting short um, this meeting is I'm recording it, okay? So I'm just double checking that I'm recording. And once I have um, concluded this meeting, then I can share the video on my YouTube channel. Um, so the link to the playlist on YouTube is here under announcements. Just in case that uh, you cannot attend a meeting for uh, any particular week. So here's the the link to our playlist, and as you can see, there's nothing here because I haven't done we haven't done any meeting. So this is our first one. I'll post this on here so that uh, once you click on it next week, if you ever have the the need to, then you have the video here. Okay. So online classes often. Um, are anonymous um, so I mean it's up to you to make yourself known or not but uh, I appreciate it if you contact or you interact with me uh, when you attend a zoom meeting okay so backtrack in a little bit more let me share with you the syllabus uh which is on the left navigation bar here so just to clarify you do not need to attend all of these meetings per week so you just pick whichever one um works for you best or not okay so i don't require you to attend uh, online meeting at all so i don't require that Sorry, I just muted you because um, there's some background noise. Okay, so uh, attending a Zoom meeting per week is going to benefit you because uh, you have you will have a routine that you follow every week, and that often boosts success rate. So Tuesday at five, Thursday at five, Friday at five. All of them at five. <laughs> um, hopefully, this schedule works for you. If not, uh, you're just gonna have to rely on Zoom recordings on uh, the YouTube play playlist that I just showed you earlier. Okay. Um, you could contact me via this email. You can text me via this message, uh, this Google number, or you can go to inbox. Okay, you go to inbox and you can contact me there as well. And uh, you should already by now have seen the syllabus because I sent out a mass email to all the registered students and the waitlisted students on my, um, you know, uh, on my web. So um, right now, as you can see, our number stands at 33 and our capacity is 30. So that means I'm three, three students over the, the capacity. And I have so far received many more requests to add the class. 
So if after today and you decide that you're not going to stay with us, um, if you would be so kind as to either let me know or just drop the course um, at your earliest convenience so that I may uh, add other students wishing to join the class. Okay. So if you decide to stay with us, uh, please know that this class is intensive um, and it's not an easy A, but you have weekly um, su support and assistance from me and guidance. So the syllabus um, has important information, so you, you need to read it. Um, the books are available to you under announcements. So go back, going back to announcements, and there's this link, this post that shows you all the, um, it would, if you click on the link, it would take you to the books. So the Curious Writer is our main uh, textbook, and we learn different types of essays, how to write the essays from this textbook. So you should spend some time to look at um, this textbook, especially the contents, the table contents. We start off with chapter one and two and three, just in case that you're uh, interested in working ahead and get yourself a head start. Okay. We also work with um, On Writing Well, which is a style book, meaning that it helps you write better, okay? be a better writer. And we start off with, with of course, part one, chapter one through seven. I'm sorry, it's chapter one through six. And it's easy reading and enjoyable reading. Nothing intensive here. Uh, we spend less time on this book than on our main book, which is this one again. The Curious Writer is our main book. And again, the, the author shown here, Bruce Ballinger. So if I, if I say Ballinger chapter one, I, I meant that you should look at this book, chapter one of The Curious Writer. And the last, uh, sorry, the writer of this book on writing well is William Zinzer, okay? Again, this is a style, um, how to improve your writing, how to write well. The other one is a reference book, um, a writer's reference. And you get, like it says here, that you need to download it to view it. But this is a reference book, meaning that if you need a refresher on a grammar point, like how to avoid run on and comma splices and fragments, you probably need to consult this book. We don't do much with the a writer's reference, but um, again, if, you, if I point out to you consistently, repeatedly, that, that you do need to uh, fix or uh, address your run on problems, you, you probably need to look at this. Um, reference book to learn how uh, among online resources. <clears throat> okay, so back to the syllabus. Um, the books are provided for you. You don't really need to do anything. Um, the required materials are there. Um, you really need to have access to a, a computer, not a smart device like a tablet or your phone. As uh, so this is a full online course, um, things are done much more efficiently on a computer. Other readings, uh, you select one of these uh, memoirs, and you, you might need to invest um, some money in buying um, your selected memoir. Okay. Or you can borrow from a library, a local library. Um, well, the only thing that, that is online free to you is this one right here. This is a student um, essay collection. Um, so you, you might want to think of, of that, but if you are interested in any other memoir listed here, um, please uh, find a way to get your hands on a copy of, of your chosen um, semester long memoir so that you can uh, read it over the course of the, of the semester 
and be able to produce um, the semester long memoir project. Okay, so um, <clears throat> one of these things, one of these uh, memoirs here. And these are sites, uh, websites that you might find useful. These are the um, breakdowns or the percentage breakdown of uh, our class. Um, the departmental final exam takes place on May 18th, this, um, which is a Friday, May 18th at 9.40 a.m. Okay, so please mark your calendar. You have to be um, on campus to take the final exam, and it, it is worth 20%. Whether you, I mean, if you pass, you get 20%. If you fail the final exam, you get zero of that 20. Um, the final exam will uh, spend time and over the course of the semester to discuss it, to practice it, and you get to see example prompts. You, uh, I'll, I'll let you see the scoring guide and whatnot, but, but the department, uh, the English department at Evergreen um, comes up with a new prompt every semester. And you have 80 minutes to, sorry, 100 minutes to write an essay responding to that prompt. And the prompt is going to be nonfiction, meaning that it's going to be most likely a news article surrounding a controversial issue, which is why our classes are designed to f tackle a controversial issue, meaning that each, one, each person will follow um, his or her own Josen selected a uh, controversial issue, and that would be part of week one on Canvas. And if you are one of those people who've already done something with week one module, then you're good to go. However, if you're not, uh, you, you just barely started, so you need to go to modules okay, and follow. Follow the, more, uh, follow the modules in the order indicated here. For example, I would click on week one required readings first. And then look at this, watch the video, read this, okay, and then go next. March. Then this is the discussions forum for week one. We have a discussions forum for each week, and they typically range from 20 points to 50 points. And all of the discussions will be subsumed underneath. Um, Where's my syllabus? Underneath the participation, which is 10%. Okay. So um, the participation, I mean, the discussions forums are graded based on uh, completion, meaning you just do it, you do all the tasks that I ask you, and then um, you get full credit. <clears throat> For example, Hung already has done all the tasks I've asked him, and so he'll get 20 out of 20 points whether or not his uh, responses are accurate or um, inadequate, he'll still get full credit okay, for just doing all the tasks that I've assigned here. <clears throat> so scroll down and read what your um, classmates have written. Respond to at least two of them to keep the discussion going. And then click Next to go to Week 2, which I'll, put, I'll open up next Actually, I'll open, up, I'll open this up on Sunday. Okay, but for now, uh, you can see that you can um, view this already on your end. Okay, so follow the modules. Instead of clicking on the to-do uh, items on the right-hand side after you log in and click, our, our, uh, click on our class, You'll be shown the to-do items on the right. Don't, don't do that. Don't click on them right away. But instead, go to modules and then follow them. Follow the, the item listed under each week. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so that you get the maximum um, exposure to that week's materials so that you can do the, the, the assignments um, more efficiently and more completely. In the past, I've had so many students asking me, oh, how do I do this discussion? Or, or how do I do that essay? Um, and then I would respond by asking them whether they've looked at the previous items within that week. 
most of the time they, they say no i haven't looked at it and i ask them to go back and look at the items prior to um assignment uh okay i'm gonna there's some background in, uh, noise i'm gonna mute okay. sorry um Okay, if you have, uh, at any, in any given time you have an, a question, please feel free to uh, ask me by unmuting yourself or uh, typing in a message to me uh, via the chat field. Okay, so um, I'm going to keep talking and, unless somebody has a question. Um, more on the syllabus, um, please read it um if you haven't again um the schedule here is tentative meaning that um i'm just putting this here to give us a guideline but please follow um the modules on canvas okay oh um, so that's pretty much all that i do um for today, just to orient you to let you know how this class uh, works online. I typically keep attendance for administrative purposes and not for grades. So um, it's for things like census report, W drop deadline, um, your counselor um, paperwork if they come in, um, early alert things like that I, I keep attendance for, but they do not um, affect your grade. <clears throat> okay, so um, right now I would like to open the floor up for any question or all question, questions you might have for me. As I take attendance, please go ahead and think of anything that you might need help with at this point. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm still learning people's name. Wow, we have a lot of students. Your sister. <coughs> mm -hmm. Nobody has any question. Wow. Let me double check. Okay, no question. Our meeting will end shortly. Um, just, okay, you have a question? All right, I'm gonna unmute you. Go ahead. Yeah, hi Mr. Bo, uh, can you hi. hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. I'm Nalina, Nalina Tirumalai. And um, uh, right about the name you're... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> My the there. question is right there. Yeah. yeah, so I just have a question. I read your... Um, uh, you know, discussion or uh, modules uh, you were looking at or uh, you have posted a bunch of emails, right? In that, it said that you have to take um, a subscription to New York Times and... Yeah. Um, so, is it like we have to sign up online to take the subscription? Oh, or thank you so much for asking that question, uh, which is uh, something I need to, to tell you. Um, okay, so you as a registered student at, e at Evergreen have yeah. access to um, the library. So yes. go to EBC EDU and click on library and you, uh -huh. if you're accessing the library databases, mm -hmm. you're going to need to sign in, which is, let me demonstrate. Um, you click on find articles and media to look at the list of databases. Okay. Uh, Newspaper, oh, newspaper source plus is okay. where you can get around registering for um i mean okay. pay for new york times so okay. this is your free access to new york times okay. Got it. Um, so you need your um your first and last name and then your uh, uh -huh. ID the number. college id yeah yeah, yeah. So is it only for the New York Times or is it a Boston uh, View or something that uh, couple I of newspapers? Believe, I believe you the, uh, if if you are utilizing uh, newspaper source plus, uh -huh. this database right here, uh -huh. 
uh, you <clears throat> you'll be able to access Boston Globe as well. Okay, thank you. But uh, the thing is, uh, mm -hmm. we're primarily interested in these three um, the controversies. So CQ Researcher is okay. one of them, <clears throat> right? So um, this is the the database that I put on the controversial issue uh, handout. Okay, so um, you you should look at this to decide which issue you're you're interested in. What I'm talking about is this. Let me show you um, <clears throat> this controversial issues ranking sheet, and this sheet is there to help you select a controversial topic. Just one of them, and these are the common ones. But uh, by by all means, select your own. Okay, so CQ Researcher um, has a lot more topics on the site, and I let me log in and show you. <clears throat> so by next week, everybody should select. A controversial issue to follow, whether it be it's something that you already know, somewhat, but ultimately, at the end of this um, this class, I'm hoping we're hoping that you develop expert knowledge on this issue. Expert knowledge implies that that you don't just know it on the surface and the ability to carry a conversation with a stranger, but you also know academic sources and resources that you can uh, cite and um, draw from, write and to speak about it. So that's expert knowledge, not just the surface stuff. Um, so here are the, the list of, I mean, there are two options. You can view all and you can view most view right here, right? So. Um, the cool thing about this database, this company, CQ Researcher, is it gives you a um, overview right here, okay? And um, you should choose a topic that you're interested about, not just something random, like mm -hmm. maybe a topic that keeps you up at night that you've been turning, um, left, uh, you mean keep turning in your... <laughs> Uh, in your bed or on your bed, right? So a lot of students are dealing with student debt. Mm -hmm. So most people have recently focused on that. Um, but of course, if there, there's another more compelling um, issue that you're wrestling with, maybe you should choose that one. Okay. Um, an issue that you have um, personal connections to, like some like it has affected you personally some way and not as affected your friends and your, your friends kept talking about it and then suddenly you're interested in it. That's, that's a poor choice, okay? However, that is a choice. If you want to s pursue that topic that your friends are talking about, you may. But I'm just saying it might give you some problems with the first um, essay, which is the personal essay, where you examine and um, investigate in in what ways are you um, personally affected by this issue? <clears throat> okay, so uh, this is part of week one discussions forum, and as you as you can see, um, the, the students who posted have done it and um, and selected theirs. Okay. Um. Good question. Um, let me see. If, okay, so Pui has a question. Yeah, um, you can choose your own topic. And it doesn't have to be a topic that, that is listed here. It could be something that is not shown here, but it is truly controversial. Okay, so if you don't know what controversial means, you, you might need to uh, uh, maybe do a quick search to read the definition, but controversial implies that there's a debate, a hot debate behind that topic. That is, um, a lot of people are arguing about it. So that's why um, you need to be careful of your, your own selection of topic. For example, a topic that might not be acceptable is um, how does the sun 
um, shed its light on Earth. But that's not a good topic. Or um, even if you focus on climate change, right, and you choose climate change as your controversial topic, but you're just going to explore how climate change is affecting Earth, that's not really controversial, okay? Climate change as a topic often um, means that you need to investigate the policies that mm -hmm. all these world leaders are adopting in terms of helping out our planet or harming it further. For example, President Trump withdrew the U.S. from the Paris, the Paris Pact, whatever. Agreement. Yeah, so that would be controversial, but not something like, oh, climate change is uh, a fact heating up Earth, which causes um, the Earth being warmer. That's not very controversial, right? So be careful with that. Okay, um, any other question um, that I might help you with at this point? This one? Have I gone, everybody? Um, Are you here and then I, I haven't gotten you? Okay, so I have uh, seven participants, including me. Yes, yeah, I think I got everyone. <clears throat> so, yes. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Somebody else was about to ask a question. Let them ask. Okay. Okay. Anyone okay. else have a question? Okay. So I just wanted to know. You want? You said that we have to select a memo memoir. Mm -hmm. Of uh, you know, you have a, had a list there. Mm -hmm. So when is it? Uh, what time do we have to set, You know, purchase oh, that. Um, this time? one. This one you have until week three. Okay. So you have two weeks to think about it. Okay. And maybe, um, you know, on the original syllabus, like if you access my syllabus uh, via Google Drive, you will see pictures of the memoirs. Okay. So looking at pictures and maybe do a little bit of quick search to, to read the author um, or to read a little bit about it um, might, might be helpful in terms of selecting your, your memoir to read. Okay. Are so, these books available in the library? They should be available. Um, some of them might be available online, but I know that um, most of them should be available via the uh, San Jose Public Library. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, it has Access 360, which is a, an app that you read PDFs that you borrow mm -hmm. from the library. And then there's uh, OverDrive. Overdrive app that is also connected to the San Jose Public Library that I know that um, this book is on it. My okay. beloved world, uh, soon Buddha's dinner is on it. Okay. On on the, the app that the apps that are connected to the San Jose Public Library. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Right. So, <clears throat> um, okay, I'm I'm open for for if you want to read a memoir. Um, I'm open for that too, but the thing is, the caveat is you need to have, you need to convince at least one other classmate, one other, so two of you at least, to join you to read that memoir. So because we're doing group work here for the memoir, um, so you cannot be by yourself. So if you want to propose your own memoir, mm -hmm. and it has to be a memoir, right? Um, Please let me know, and then and then you may um, team up with one other person at least in the in the class to to um, tackle that memoir of your own choosing. Okay. Okay. So um, in the past, um, this project <coughs> has proven to be rewarding for students. Mm -hmm. Um, last semester, I, I had us read a, uh, my own selection, a novel called The Sympathizer, and it didn't go over too well. <laughs> so now I'm back to, um, hmm. I'm back on, uh, on this uh, routine where I have students read book length memoir. Memoirs. Okay, 
excellent questions. May I help, how else may I help you at this point? So the first assignment uh, the, for the week one, which is the in introduction, is due um, by Sunday evening, right? Like yes, please okay. post before um, eleven fifty nine p.m. Okay. Um, so as you can see, this has this is the only assignment for week one. Okay. Right? That yeah. are that are points attached. Okay, so yeah. we have other assignments as well, but but no points are attached to them. Uh, so you need to post this to earn 20 points. Okay. If, you are, if you are late, Canvas will accept your late submission for now. So um, I, I normally just waive it, right? The first time that you're late, I just waive it. I, I just say that please don't be late again. And then I just give you uh, regular points value without the late penalty. But if okay. you continue to be late with your discussion forum, I mean, I was to accept them, but then I have to slap a late penalty to, to your late posts. Okay. Um, Mr. Bo, I didn't understand this Wix online portfolio oh, okay. because I went and tried. Uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't get that. So. Okay, so um, what it is, is you're just gonna go to Wix.com. Okay. And <clears throat> Uh, you just click the, the get started button get started if you're new to Wix Okay, and you have the options to sign in um, With your Facebook or with your Google Drive or with your regular email mm -hmm. If you this is the first time that you need to just click the sign up button right sign up mm -hmm. And again, you have three options Facebook Google Drive or your own email Right so I'm going to log in because this is, my not, this is not my first time. So I'm going to click using my Google Drive. I mean, my Gmail account. Um, so if it is your first time, you're going to see this. Hold on, let me... You're going to see this page if it is your first time. The way, what you're going to do is click on the block okay. option. You have two options here to let the ADI create a website for you or you choose your Wix edit you choose your own Wix with your Wix editor. So I I often have my students choose the Wix editor. Okay. So just click choose template okay. on the right side and scroll down and select the book lover, the book lover template, which okay. is easiest. Mm -hmm. To keep a blog or to keep um, an, an online portfolio for writing. Okay. So click on that. Right. So um, if you click edit, mm -hmm. it like I'll click edit and a new window pops up and let it work. Then let it do do its things for a while. Right. You have to wait for a while. Mm -hmm. like about a few seconds. So it's loading, loading, loading. And this editor weighs down your computer. So if you have a lot of things open, um, it might take longer. So here is the, um, here's your Wix page mm -hmm. um, inside the Wix editor. Okay? Okay. So first thing is you probably want to uh, change the title and put your name somewhere on it. Mm -hmm. So you can you can change this. Click on it once to to see this uh, sub menu pops up. Mm -hmm. You can either click edit text or you can click um, animate or you, you have a question. You click there. Okay. You can also go there by double clicking on it. Mm -hmm. If you double click on it, it, it uh, the text is highlighted, and so you can just directly type in whatever. Okay. So you can say. Something like English 1A online portfolio, or you can say your name to portfolio. Okay. Okay. Um, you have other options that you can do with your site. For example, you can play around with the themes, the font, you can do effects. Facing, heading. Okay, so, so that's the extent of which you can do 
right now because okay. you haven't um, actually written anything to post here. So these are all the posts. This is uh, this section is where you you post your finished, revised, polished essays. Okay. So when we get there, I'll um, I'll lead you through how to post. But okay. it's very intuitive. You just play around with it. Okay. Um, then after you're finished, you can do background here. You can do you know you can you, the, the assignment is just simply to to let you introduce you to this so that you can have some um, hands-on experience. A lot of people are tech savvy, so they've already figured out how to do this well. But if you're not tech savvy, you might need some help, so it's okay if you, if you have questions, you just go back on, on Zoom and ask me. Um, then I can uh, lead you through any, well, I, I'll try, but I'll, I'll try to lead you through any problems you might have. Okay, so after you're finished and you're satisfied, click Publish. Mm -hmm. Once you click publish, you have the option to change the last part right here is highlighted. So you can put your name there or you can pick, put English 1A, mm -hmm. uh, EBC online, whatever. Okay, so up to you. And then you, see, uh, then you can click save and continue. After you've done that, you have this URL. I don't know if you can select, oh, you can't. So uh, if you click done, let's see. After you click done, then you can select this. You select that and copy it. Select all everything and then copy, right? And then go back to the uh, discussions mm -hmm. and click reply. And then just paste your week URL there. Okay. Okay. And that's how, that's how you get that, um, that assignment done. Of course, then you, then you need to scroll down and maybe uh, look at what other people have done. Okay. So it looks like no one has done anything. Okay, here's two has done something. So have you, uh, when you click on it, you, you will see what she's done with her site. And so she's obviously looks a little bit different from mine. So she's done some with the, with the coloring, uh, but that's, that's about it, right? Mm -hmm. But at least she, she has her own site here. So you want to, to do that too. Mm -hmm. And Jose has done something as well. So let me see. So the idea is if somebody clicks on it, it should open up. Okay, and this is what Quan has done with his so far. All right. <clears throat> now I recommend um, the the book lover blog, but um, you can choose any blog template you like. And I'm just saying that the book lover literature blog is the easiest because um, it has already the built-in posts for you to, to post your things and it's easier to figure out. And, be, and because I have uh, been using it for all this time, um, so I, I know a little, a little bit more about that template than other templates here. Okay, <clears throat> so that's Wix. Have you other questions about Wix? Or are you okay now? Or? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay. Wonderful. You're welcome. Okay, other questions? Yeah, I have a question. Sure. Go ahead. Oh, I asking about the final exam. We do the online or we do the exam in the school? Yes. Um, unfortunately, right now, we do not have um, the capability yet to do for the final exam online because it is given by the and uh, proctor and administered by the department and the language art division language arts division so it's not up to the instructor so i don't have any choice in this matter so i like you have to show up in person okay so we do need to show up on campus on this date may 18th oh oh shoot i said 17 whoops sorry <laughs> <laughs> 18. Uh, but 
but the, the same information is carried uh, across the semesters, across the years, and we've had this routine for many years. Okay. <clears throat> okay, thank you. You do need to be. <laughs> so if you want the 20% of your course grade, of course you can pass this, this class with, without taking the final exam, for sure. If you've been doing everything well and, and you don't care about getting an A and you're just okay with a B minus uh, or C, then you can you can skip the final exam, okay? Although I'm not I'm not suggesting you should. However, if you live too far away and there's no way for you to get here, maybe um, maybe you, you can deal without the final exam. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but uh, please set your calendar, put this on your calendar so that um, you can arrange ahead of time so that you can take the final exam. Maybe sometimes in the future, like 10 years later, we we'll get, the, we'll get the, <laughs> uh, the approval. We already have the technology and the personnel to administer online exams, but it's the approval from coming down from the language arts division down to the English department. That's the, the, hard, the hard part. In fact, I've, uh, I've been trained to, to, um, to proctor online exams, but it's just that um, it hasn't been approved by the language arts division yet. Okay. Other uh, question? So, Mr. Wu, um we can join any of the discussion, uh, one of the three classes, right? You have it, I think, on uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday or something. Yes, yes. Any, so any one? Yeah. One of them, yes. Um, okay. So it is available on the syllabus. Okay. Um, and the online meeting time. Yeah, okay. Right here, right? Um, again, it's not a requirement. I have a question here. I'll get to you in a sec. But... Be sure that um, maybe you, if you can, you can attend at least once online, you can get your questions answered like today. And, and especially if you have your questions tailored, um, you can get me to show you how to do certain things. Uh, okay. Yeah, so uh, we have a question on the discussions forum. So, you get to choose any two students that, that you like to respond to, for example. Like I, I chose, and, and my response is just so very surface level, but at least I've responded. <laughs> um, but just try to go beyond uh, single or three word responses. So maybe a sentence or two, okay? You can just re you can reply however you like. You can further the discussion, point out something they've done right. You can critique them in a nice way. You can say, "Hey, I noticed that you 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 had a typo there," or uh, "I really love how you uh, responded to the discussion question about blah blah blah," and I totally agree with you because I have uh, some connections to that as well myself. So that those are different. Just some of the examples that, that you can do, but it is widely open. As long as you respond um, somewhat considerately to your classmates, you get the credit. Okay. Yeah. So I hope that um, it makes sense to you now. Oh, Alfie has done this too. Oh, so more people have posted. Okay, other questions? But don't worry, if you have more questions, um, you can join me online next week on Tuesday at 5. Um, if you have an urgent question, you can email me or text me or send me a message via inbox. Um, I try to get to you um, right away, but if I can't, please understand that I, I do have a life and I have other <laughs> classes. So please, I ask for your patience, is what I'm asking. So if, if you don't see me responding to you right away, um, just give me like maybe a couple hours 
Um, I try to get back to you right away. <clears throat> okay. Um, what else do we have? Oh, I communicate um, things, important announcements with you via announcement. So I recommend that you go to your account and you go to settings. And if you haven't done this already, I recommend that you add, you add a direct contact method to Canvas. For example, your text um, number, your cell phone number, or your direct email address that you get linked to your phone, so that whenever um, I send you a, um, or I post an announcement, you can set notification preferences to immediately the check mark. That means that Canvas will notify you immediately whenever I post an announcement. And often add announcements <clears throat> for important changes. Um, a bad example is if I cannot make um, a meeting that I've set, like I cannot make any of these online meeting time for one reason or another, maybe I'm lying on my deathbed or something, I cannot host it, then I, can, I will add an announcement saying that, hey, this week Tuesday meeting is canceled. Okay, so that you are not, you are aware. Um, another thing that might happen is I might be a little bit late here and there when I host these meetings. So if you don't see me online right away, um, could you just please wait for me for about five minutes, or maybe sometimes ten? But I, I try not to let that happen <clears throat> because I, I value your time. Um, so I don't, I don't try, I don't, uh, I try not to make, um, not to uh, miss the schedule. All right, so that's it for today's meeting then. Um, join me online next week and I will have this meeting recording um, available on my YouTube just so in case if you have any uh, need to watch it, you can. Okay guys, I will talk to you next week and um, enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Thank you, bye.